guys, today I got something kind of dirty for you. This is a build that the tank and the DPS can use. It's a ranged hatchet build. You can use it to hit the mob too. The first thing you need to know in this video is if you are doing a hatchet throw build, you need the perk empowering rending throw on your hatchet. And if you don't have it, you're throwing. So you see, this build is like not uh, optimized and it depends a lot on your red. So this guide is more like an open debate on what you would like or not, but I'll still show you something that work and you can pass all the artist content in the game with, and you can even do speed run with it. This build is working amazing. It's just that there's some small thing that you can change here and here. You can use it as a DPS, you can use it as a tank. So there's a lot of variant into it and I want to know what you guys think about it. And what's the change that you guys would do about it if you use more like the VG than the Rapier and why? I want to understand your stuff. Are you going to use a diamond into it? Are you going to use a moonstone? Are you going to use an emerald, an elemental gem? I want to know. There is that hatchet, Freya Francisco. It's pretty good. It's an artifact. So you cannot use it with the finisher. So you lose a 15% DPS, but you're going to gain some range and throw uh, cooldown, 25%, 5 second cooldown on it. So it's not too bad. So if you use a void gauntlet with your hatchet, you're going to use this. And if you use a rapier with your hatchet, you're going to do, you know, you're going to use the one that I use in the guide or something similar. You're gonna see in some specific boss fight when you're a melee, sometimes it's great to be able to switch to range. Mostly if your group is not really good. When you have a really good group, it's possible to do most of content with melee only. But yeah, there is some boss. We all know that the hatchet throw is amazing into it. And this is a build made for that. So you see I have some punishing gem. The punishing gem gonna give you 5% in power if you have 5 of them. I only have a couple because I did not... Um, I just created this build. But yeah, if you have the 5 punishing gem, it's a 5% in power. Uh, Hunting stone, another 7% in power. Uh, there's gonna be some oblivion on the floor, 15% in power. Leadership, 10% in power. Um, if you look, I have a diamond in my headset, it's another empower. Um, if you think your empower cap, you better put like an emerald into it. So you're, you're going to still benefit of a buff even if your empower cap. So you need to balance your build just to make sure that the diamond is not useless or whatever. All right. If I have the diamond right now, it's mostly because, uh, in my group, there was no leadership. And since I was throwing hatchet, um, there was nobody putting Oblivion under me, if that makes sense. But if you think that you're going to have some Oblivion and leadership in your group, you better to put something else than Diamond and you're going to get harder because you're going to be Empower Cap anyway. So Finisher like usual, Finisher on money, Bleeding Target, deal 15% more damage on it. It's amazing. The not so watch this piece if you read it 20% more base damage so this is insane but there's no more time and power in my build but guess what the berserker is to the empower that work with the not so watch this piece so for the rain you want rt leeching and like um, slash damage that would be great or like rt leeching and keen uh, i put it just to show but uh, what I'm going to do probably is uh, put that like this. RT leeching and that. And what I'm going to find better, I'm going to take better. Like uh, I, I think that having the slash damage would be a big upgrade. Or RT leeching and um, keen. But as I already said to some other video. Uh, keen is for when you're empower cap. And when you're not empowered cap, then you're going to put some slash damage because 
it, it's an empowerment on your ring too. And Lister's only because I use infuse potion and the infuse potion are the cooldown is is quicker and then Lister's power up those potions that make them good. Uh, the amulet gonna depend depend on the boss fight. This one is slash protection because the first boss is strike, second slash, third natsur in the gargon raid, and that just makes sense to have some amulet for every build. Uh, you want the vines uh, or the fire kick. I have it somewhere in uh, my inventory. I'm gonna put the vines or the fire kick since you're not always gonna get close of the of the bus because you're throwing your hatchet. It's, it would be almost better to use fire kick. Uh, fire kick do weekend and bar your where your teammate and a couple of nice things like that. Uh, and then yeah, the, this is the hatchet build I made. I think this work amazingly good. All right, and with you get the empower from there. And when my build's gonna be like perfect, what I think is maybe I'm gonna try to take off the berserker to put the social distancing. But it's only when your empower cap, then you put the social distancing, and you're gonna be able to like. DPS even more just because you're gonna have the tree ability right there and you can like combo the ability look if I throw a hatchet like that you see throw two hatchet so if you can do that always with every one of your throw it's gonna do like six attack really quickly one two one two one two and that's gonna be probably better than the berserker but like I said if you think you're not empowered cap, I would recommend to take the Berserker just to make sure that you are empowered cap. There's still a haste on the Berserker that's going to help you survive. Uh, and the leeching going to help you survive a lot. And yeah, when you know that, like, what happened with the distance throw is you get haste too and there's no cooldown on it. So the ability is not too bad because, you know, the haste, sometimes you need it to declump or just... You see in the, in the last boss in Gorgon, there's a lot of stuff on the ground that does some AoE DPS. So just to get out of the AoE, I think this is an amazing thing. So having some ace on your build is a good thing. But with social distancing, it's going to be almost always there. So I think this is why having it would be great. And then the root, I mean, it's not really good you would be better to probably go for another passive than that but it's hard to see and there's some ads phase and the ad can still get rooted so maybe you can benefit of that and if you can't uh you can try to go for other passive uh but they are not really good like if you want a one passive like um I have the not so watch SP, so the time and power are doing nothing for me. Um, I'm not doing EV attack, I'm doing hatchet throw. I'm almost never under 30% health, uh, you see. So <clears throat> it's pretty hard to make this build better. The only thing you can do is switch a berserk for the social distancing. And I'm pretty sure that the DPS is going to be almost the same because, you know, berserker... Uh, 20% is a lot. Uh, it's only if you're empowered cat that you take off your berserker. So I recommend that you make sure that you reach the 50% empower and then take off the berserker when you manage to reach it and use the tree throw on your build. You're gonna still keep those two passive because they are pretty good. And yeah, this is it. So. For the rapier, this is my build. I opt on movement because uh, I'm not doing damage with my rapier. If I was doing damage, I would probably be using another build fully. You're gonna see repulse, flesh, uh, like it helps you move and survive. But the main goal is to just not use the rapier. It's just to throw hatchet, and you're gonna do more DPS on bleeding target, and the people in your group gonna apply bleed. So you're always going to have the 15% from the finisher when you're going to fight the boss and throwing hatchet. So 
there's almost no reason to have a VG with your hatchet. Like I say, uh, you can get your empower from anywhere else and be probably empower cap without a void gauntlet. If you go for a Von Gutlet, I guess you can uh, take off some Empower here and here into your build. Uh, you can take off the Berserker to just to make sure like if you start with the Void Gauntlet and you don't use the that Rapier, then you're going to take off the Berserker and make sure that you're using the the Social Distancing because you're going to be Empower Cap way easier. But uh, you're still going to miss a 15% DPS because... I can reach my empower cap just like you, but I have a more DPS. So I, even if we are both empower cap, I'm doing more DPS than you because I have 15% more damage on bleeding target. And it's all about hatchet true. We are not speaking about anything else right now. It's mostly a hatchet true build for boss fight where it's easier when you throw hatchet. So for the buff, I'm just using the coating, you know, Angry Earth coating, uh, the, like uh, the, the ward, uh, Angry Earth ward, uh, Infused Health Potion, Infused Regeneration Potion. This do nothing in boss fight. And then you're going to have the RT meal that is always useful. And you see, I have the Grasping Vine there or the Fire Kick. Both are great. And you know what? The craziest thing about this build is that it worked as a tank. And even into the second boss of the raid where people say that it's the hardest boss of the raid. I can face tank the boss with my hatchet and I have a rapier as a secondary so my hatchet do even more damage. And you're gonna see there's a phase that I, I can like run around with the boss while my teammate gonna kill the adds. And usually I'm just running around and, and like keeping my sword and shield in my hand since it gives leadership to my group. But if your group is already uh, empowered cap, they don't really need leadership. And if they have good DPS, like they don't really need leadership too. Like the leadership buff is like over the board. If you have really good DPS that have a good build, they are going to be empowered cap almost. So you can take off that sword and shield and then use this uh, rapier and uh, hatchet instead. And it's going to be probably one of the best mid-max. Uh, you can do great sword and rapier too. I'm going I'm to do a build about that in the future because I, I did uh, tank some boss with the great sword and rapier. It was working. But I made, I made mostly the defensive tree and the defensive tree, I'm pretty sure. It do less DPS than the hatchet. So this hatchet build is probably one of the best DPS for tank too. And it's a, one of the best throw build and tank. All right.
Okay. 